Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here with the secret history living in your aquarium. I'm here at the shrimp tank, which was known as Mars 1.0 with all the red rock in it and the red cherry shrimp. However, I've done some changes to the tank and that name makes absolutely no sense. So why don't you comment below with a better name for this tank? It is the experimental YouTube tank, so to speak, in that I'm taking coals of several different uh um, sorry about that, uh, Neo Caridina species and kind of mixing them together and anything that's coming out really good, then I'll, I'll put those in the other tanks and try to make a line out of it. So what I wanted to say about this tank, there's partially an unboxing or it's already unboxed. You're looking at it, but I've got a nice red really shrimp here and she is just full of, of uh, eggs. Her saddle has disappeared, as you can see, and the eggs are being juggled around lots, and they're still bright yellow, so she's got some time left for them to uh, cook, so to speak. But I just think it's mesmerizing to watch them eat and work on eating algae and holding onto the rock and oxygenating the eggs and moving them around and holding on to them and you know they don't have umbilical cords and the eggs aren't hard shelled so they really have to help out the babies a lot um, now what you also might notice is that I have a new endler and this is a not super hard to find endler around these parts but it is a strain that has some really beautiful I've seen the the uh, the rest of this last generation really beautiful fish in it it's got uh, this this specific uh tiger endler has a flame tail or a flame uh, sorry a spade tail with kind of a flame pattern of blue that comes on uh that you probably can see uh he just got home and so he's stressed and confused and um you know acclimating still but there's a mostly yellow and they're trying to breed out that dark spot but I realized under these lights that that dark spots actually blue and I like blue in endlers um, the tail has a light blue and that spot let's see if, if we can get him to stand still is almost like a purplish uh, navy blue when you see it in the right white light so kind of exciting that I've got him in there with the red cherry shrimps the Riley's and then also I've got like the super dark blue shrimp in here that was too dark for my taste and then his uh soon to be mate is also in this tank and i got her today um and she where is she at she's hard to find because she's right back there and she is so small even though she's several months old when she came in with the same litter of these uh, that she's the size, she's only maybe twice as long as the the guppies that are in this tank that were born this week. So hopefully this tiger, I can keep him uh, spunky and running around and everything uh, so that he can stay strong and healthy. I'm hoping that his mouth is small enough that he's not going to eat the baby shrimp. He's not even an inch long himself. Uh, so I'm hoping to breed into this tank actually smaller and smaller endlers like nano fish scale endlers. They're already kind of nano fish. The other thing that I've done change up the tank is we have some now Monte Carlo. There's no CO2 or anything in this tank, but I've got the African gold coin an Anubius. Uh, we've got Wisteria here. We've got, like I talked about in my other video, maple leaves from a Japanese maple tree. Right here, it's a razorback uh, red cherry shrimp that is, you just see that red on the back and on the cheeks, but she's also pregnant and her babies aren't that bright yellow color. They're actually like a, a silver or, or cobalt color. So I want to see what happens with her if they come out viable or if maybe there's some sort of rot or something, unfortunately, but they've definitely changed colors. The blue shrimp in the tank that was not blue enough for my taste of the other tank, literally a day in this tank and it is buried and uh, fertilized has been fertilized so I 
think it's probably going to be a cross, but same deal with this one. Her saddle's coming down. Uh, she didn't hardly have a saddle a week ago. So this tank, there's something about it that they're really enjoying. So here's that Razorback again. I'm hoping that you can see. I only see about five babies left, maybe. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six baby shrimps left. And they actually have the ability to naturally kind of cull their own young uh, as needed. And when they're unhealthy or if they're starting to mold or just uh, deformed or they can tell something's wrong, uh, they're giving off a bad hormone or chemical odor, they can they can expel that one and use their metabolic energy for something else. So here's the update on the tank. A new look I wanted to see with the lighter colors instead of all this dark stuff that's been going on, if that would help just spot the shrimp in the tank and also like assess their coloring and everything. These shrimp were a natural colored cherry shrimp not even 24 hours ago now and they've colored up beautifully. I got them from a local Seattle area guy who gave me a great deal. He had like just tons of them, like a thousand in his tank. They'd just gone crazy. And uh, I think maybe water parameters and just overcrowding and stuff that they weren't looking their fullest. He wasn't like take, he wasn't babying them. And I'm, I've got the water hardness the way I wanted and I've been feeding them. Um, I've been feeding them a little bit of fish food since the baby guppies are in there. Uh, but I've also been feeding them a crab and shrimp formulated food. And then they also have all molted real quickly when I put them in this tank. And so hopefully uh, they have all of those to mow down on eating the the molted uh, leftovers. And now they're working on uh, these these dead leaves uh, should be growing something uh, helpful, algae and probiotics and such on them soon. I've also put the algae rock from the other tank, uh, a chunk of rhyolite that's uh, also known as Wonderstone. Just did a video about that. You can check that out. I'll leave a link. Uh, and I'll also leave a link to how color grading works in these shrimp uh, because it's, it's not always straightforward. It's confusing if you're new to shrimp. And uh, here we'll try to get a better color. You can see some of that uh, coloration on the endler a little bit better. So this is just a mishmash. Hey guys, this is what's going on video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tank. Let me know the name. And if you're enjoying these videos and you're looking forward to, uh, for instance, I'm doing a video on where the tiger endler was first bred and where endlers are from, which river tributaries, as well as their scientific uh, evolutionary makeup, uh, which would be... Um, part guppy a lot of these uh fancy breed ones are uh if you like that stuff if you want to keep learning about how to make your own leaves at home instead of buying almond leaves make your own leaves uh make your leaves safe for your fish and for your shrimp uh then then why don't you hit that subscribe button or that like button if you feel i've earned it and uh, thanks for staying tuned and i will talk to you guys next time leave any comments or questions as usual and i will try to answer them if i do not have the answer we'll find someone who does so i'm learning with you guys so i hope everyone's day is going well i hope your critters are doing well and you know i just gotta say to everybody uh take care of your critters take care of yourself and uh keep on swimming guys take care bye